Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the jerk's on me, don't ya? <laughs> Please stop that. <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! Roger Bohr, Spy Corps King of Covert Capers. Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. That's where I keep my spy gadgets. I need to fold together this rocket-powered origami skateboard soon. Spy Corps is waiting for the lipstick message. That did it! Now I'm rocket-powered and ready for action! Chief, a giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer.
At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the super spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spybox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up Mobile Command Center there. Of course! Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox! Luck has nothing to... Do with it! Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So, this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. What a cool jukebox! K9, that's the musical code that will get me into mobile command. Now that's music! Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. A spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message, or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals.
How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How did you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer trades welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. I can use this machine to make a name patch. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy! That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the name anytime I want. I might need that bowling shirt. I'd better take it with me. Now this is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. There's something fishy going on here, and it's not my deodorant. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious ten-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! He got away! No matter. It is too late now. Champ, Ace, back to the factory. It's time to really heat the place up. Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chicle. Chicle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One secret donut XY. A handful of coarse Viridian beauty clay that poodles mines at the bottom of the lake. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my keycard to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin, or at least get a bad sunburn trying. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. It will be good to have my spy wheels back. 